the calm before the storm. Management is putting the final touches on a series of significant deals and strategic moves. Stay tuned, it's happening. I am of course talking about Eyeless International, ticker symbol ILUS. This stock has been beat down, smashed down and lied about, but nothing is stopping Nick and JP and the company keeps on growing and fulfilling their promises to shareholders. There are so many good things happening at Eyeless right now, but the stock remains over 80% below its high point last November. But Eyeless is far bigger now than it was then. So what is going on at Eyeless? Why is the share price not going up? And what major catalyst is coming up to push Eyeless to a 2x gain? And is Eyeless International a good stock to buy right now? Or is Eyeless simply a pump and dump? In this video, I will look at these points and I will look at the latest news from Eyeless and why it is so important. I will analyze how we got down to the price that we are at and what's going to happen to push this up again. So if you enjoy my Eyeless videos and want me to keep creating regular updates, then can I ask you to smash the like button. By liking the video and dropping a comment, you're letting me know that you want to see more of this type of content. I'm aiming to get 300 likes again on this video, help me achieve this goal. It literally costs you nothing, but it helps me out so much. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and hit the bell notification. Now let's get into it with the latest news out of Eyeless International. Let's look at some of the news that has been announced since my last Eyeless video. First of all, Eyeless International subsidiary company Quality Industrial Corp have appointed JP Backwell as its CEO. JP joined the company in May 2022 as Chief Commercial Officer, but will now take over the position as CEO. Now this is important, as it says here, Mr. Backwell will lead QIND as CEO in the interim as the company completes and integrates its first round of acquisitions. Plans are already in place to appoint an industry specialist CEO who has led large companies in the oil and gas as well as industrial sectors. The new appointment is expected to be made at the start of the new year when QIND moves to the next stage in its roadmap. But the most important piece of information is further down in this press release. Like we seen a moment ago, Eyeless have just tweeted that this is the can before the storm. Management is putting the final touches on a series of significant deals and strategic moves. Stay tuned, it's happening. So is Eyeless International a good investment? To get an idea of the size of these deals, look at this. With the size of the businesses coming into QIND, their substantial current revenue and their proven capacity to achieve billions in annual revenue, as well as thriving markets which the businesses service, Quality Industrial is simply not a company which we see remaining on the OTC for much longer. Many institutional investors who are not mandated to invest in the OTC markets continue to be very interested in our company. Now everyone knows this already that the majority of large institutional investors will not or cannot invest in OTC stocks, so moving on to the bigger boards is vital. Therefore, as a board, we have agreed that the following completion and integration of our two pending QIND acquisitions will aggressively prepare for a move to the bigger boards in 2023. So when Isla say that this is the can before the storm, it really does look that way. We know that the company is in different stages of several huge deals at the moment. And Nick Link has said it here. This is a time when both companies are closing mammoth deals. And the scale of the growth is truly huge and will be over the next few years. Eyeless is a company which will soon be achieving over $100 billion in annual revenue and is accelerating towards billions by 2025. So think about this, billions by 2025. We are not talking about decades here. We are talking about 2025. We are currently in November 22. So we should be expecting this within the next 24 to 36 months if management are accurate with their estimates. Now I will discuss the financials a little bit in more detail in just a moment, but a quick look here, we can see that Isle has achieved nearly $20 million in revenue in the most recent quarter, and we know that they expect $100 million for the full year. But if we look back to last year, January to March or Q1 2021, Isla's total revenue was only half a million dollars. So Isla's have already achieved revenue growth of over 40 fold in just 15 months. So it is not unrealistic to think that Isla's can go from $100 million to $1 billion in the next 36 months. That is a 10 fold increase in a much longer time frame. As we have seen from Eyeless over the past two years, the deals are getting bigger and bigger every time and taking longer and longer to complete the negotiations. But what is important is that the company does achieve this revenue and that they also achieve a good profit margin on the revenue. And that by the time that these deals are done and dusted, that the share structure of the company still needs to be in good shape. Remember that this is a company with a market cap of less than $100 million, but are expecting billions of revenue in the next couple of years, so this valuation will make no sense at that time. 
and Eyeless International's outstanding shares is currently 1.3 billion, which is not too high for an OTC company, but it's way too high to ever uplist onto one of the major two exchanges organically. And I say organically for a reason. Now I know Eyeless is uplisting to the OTC QB, but the ultimate goal in the near future is to uplist to NASDAQ, and management have said several times that they will not do a reverse split to do this. I say that again. They have stated over and over that they will not do a reverse split. And one of the ways that they plan to achieve this is to offer Isla shareholders the opportunity to lock up shares in a preference category, which will provide a range of benefits to those shareholders. Now, this is something that I could make an entire video about. And we also have the upcoming shareholders meeting and a bunch of new acquisitions that will form part of Isla's plan to build generational wealth. Given the fact that the share lockup is both a huge opportunity for shareholders who want to do this, but it also brings risks that shareholders would not have with normal common stock. Anyways, if you would like to see a video about that and what I think of this proposal, then drop a comment below and show your support for the channel. The other update that we've had recently about the share structure was a letter to shareholders last week from JP Backwell, where he confirmed huge reductions to the preferred F shares. This brings those shares down from a little over 5 million shares down to just 700,000. Now, these are convertible at a rate of 1 to 100, which meant that they previously looked as if they could be converted into 500 million shares of common stock, which would be a massive dilution. So this reduction is very welcome, and JP has once again reiterated that management has still not sold a single share and has no intention of selling shares in the short to medium term. Now, I'm expecting big things from Eyeless over the next few weeks. As they tweeted, this is the can before the storm, big deals are coming soon. And if we look at this diagram from a recent filing, we can see here the company is in discussion over several big new deals across several of its divisions. This does remind me a lot of last year when the deal started to be completed and the share price began to have serious gains. Remember that it is not the job of management to grow the share price, it is the job of management to grow the company. And hopefully the gains in share will follow. And hopefully the gains in the share price will follow. With this growth, there needs to be a good profit margin, and this is vital. But before I discuss this, if you have watched this far into the video and you enjoy my eyeless related content and want me to keep creating regular updates, then can I ask you to smash the like button? By liking the video and dropping a comment, you are letting me know that you want to see more of this type of content. Also, I'm getting a lot of requests every day to keep making Mullen Automotive updates too, so I will be making a video looking at Mullen's CEO and company details in order to ask the question, is Immuela in stock worth buying? There is a lot of so-called facts being spread on social media about Mullen Automotive right now, but the share price is dropping. So I will answer the question that I get the most, which is, why is Mullen stock dropping? If either of these stocks, MULN or ILUS, are of interest to you, then subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter, all links in the description below. So looking at the balance sheet, first of all we can see that ILUS has total current assets of 35.5 million and total assets overall of 55.3. This is an increase of about 75% in just 6 months, but liabilities have also risen from 13.5 up to 34.5 which gives Eyeless a shareholder equity of $20.7 million. Now let's be honest, this is an OTC pink sheet stock. All things considered, this is a strong balance sheet for an OTC company. Equity might only be $20 million, but this is a profitable company as we'll see in a moment, and the market cap of only $100 million. Achieving this level of growth while remaining profitable is a big achievement. And we can see that here looking at the statement of operations. We can see that they have achieved revenue for the quarter of 19.6 million, a gross profit of 5.8 and a net profit of 1.1 million. But this is where one of the major issues is right now and this is something that is holding the stock back in my opinion. Despite revenue growth of over 500% from 2.8 up to 19.6 million dollars, Eyeless have only managed to increase their overall profit by less than 600,000, which is extremely disappointing when you analyze the numbers. The net profit margin was about 20% back in 2021. However, now in 2022, it is only 5.7. This is a huge drop, but I am not worried about this yet, and I will explain this in a moment. The gross profit ratio was around 35% in 2021, but has fallen to 30% in 2022. So first of all, the gross profit margin is fine. It's not a big drop. And with time, the synergies between the Eyeless family of companies should help to improve this margin. So I think a little initial gross profit margin drop is normal after a 500% revenue increase. 
The net profit is the problem, but I think that this problem is temporary. Eyeless have incurred several one-off costs over the past few months, several acquisitions that they are working on right now, the spin-off of VRT, the acquisition of Quality Industrial, the cost of becoming fully reporting, uplisting costs, audit costs, the list goes on. Everything that Eyeless have been doing recently costs a lot of money, but these are not recurring costs and that is very important to remember. At the moment, the net profit margin is only about 5.7%, but if they can get this back to last year's near 20%, then that would be about 4 million net profit in one quarter. Over a 12 month period, that would amount to 16 million. 16 million net profit for an OTC company with a $100 million market cap is unheard of. If Eyeless continue to grow revenue like they have been doing, then within a very short amount of time, low market cap becomes unrealistic. But most importantly, Eyeless will be filing their latest financials in just a couple of weeks, and then we will have to get a better look at whether or not the company's margins have improved from Q2 to Q3. They are involved in many deals at the moment, so I do not expect to see a huge improvement. But it should help to answer the question, is Eyeless stock worth buying now? Between this and the huge deals that are coming now, I expect to see some very positive price movement in the coming weeks. Remember that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice, but come over and check out the rest of my channel and follow me on Twitter too. Hit subscribe and drop a comment down below to show your support for the channel and show me that you want to see more eyeless updates and I'll see you in the next update video.